happy Sunday. Well, it is for you because this is going up on Sunday. And I know what you're thinking of vlog on a Sunday. What's going on? There's definitely a train coming. I mean, that would make sense. I am at the train station because I'm actually heading into London for the next two days. It is Wednesday today. And, oh my gosh, I have so much to fill you in on. But today marks the start of the moving vlogs. We have a week of daily vlogs, maybe longer. We'll see how long I can go for because I don't have an editor or anything. I do it all myself. So it's it's a lot, you know? I, I finish the day and then I have like hours and hours of editing to get it up for the next day. So hopefully a week is so fine, so doable. But obviously I'm also at actually moving and all things like that. So it's just a lot. But I want to do it because I want to document this. So what I'm saying is please bear with me if maybe a vlog is late or something like that. They will be going up ideally at 4 30 p.m every day and i have giveaways in every single vlog which i'm honestly I have so much to talk to you about but i didn't want to miss my train so i will catch up with you when i'm at my hotel i'll give you a little tour and fill you in on what's coming in the next like i don't know week week and a half oh and if you do enjoy the vlogs daily vlogs my channel in general please give this video a like it would mean the world if throughout this week of daily vlogs you gave each video a like it makes me so happy to see that you're enjoying my videos and just for the celebration of the return of the daily vlogs give it a like and if you're new here subscribe because there is obviously so much coming it and I actually arrived and I was like oh chance it and see if my room's ready it's only 1 p.m. Uh, somehow yes my room's ready so that's always just the best thing when you get to a hotel and you expect to wait for another couple hours and they're like yeah lucky day room's ready so I've just come into my room and this is insane so I'm here for two nights I have so much to catch you up on but let me give you a little rundown of like my room and everything first so this is the Hilton on Park Lane I've actually never stayed here before I don't actually tend to stay in this part of town and I don't know why because it's one of my favorite areas you'll know I love Harrods you know I love walking through the park and yeah they actually finished a refurb on this room about six weeks ago so it is brand new and the views like I actually can't but let me show you I'll give you a little tour you always know you've got the best room when it's at the end of the corridor and it's a double door so welcome to the executive park lane suite when I tell you the views are incredible so this is what you see when you walk in there's the living area and I love this art. I don't know what it is particularly about this, but it's just really like caught my eye and I think it's lovely. So we have a living area with some gorgeous flowers. This is the entryway. We have a full length mirror, which is so welcome. This gorgeous sideboard, which I love the marble. Ugh, Nespresso, love that. A dining area and then look at this view of the park. Oh my goodness. It's so rare to find a London hotel with a view like this. And this is just so, so magical. Look, that's where I walk all the time. Oh my goodness. So yeah, let me show you the bedroom moving round. So we have the bathroom with a lovely bath, which I shall be using later. And we have a double vanity. This is such a big space. And then moving round, we have the closet with... Oh, Mirrors, how helpful. The amount of closets that I go into in hotels and I don't have mirrors, so that is so welcome. Oh, a lovely shoe shelf. I am actually going to unpack. And then we come through into the bedroom, which is just so cozy. And I love the fact you get a different view of the city. And guys, the window seat. This is my literal London dream. How insane. So I've decided to change my order of my day around a little bit. I want to go to Spitalfields and try some of the new foodie spots there. But I fear if I don't go soon, I'm going to miss them a lot of them close at like three well not all of them but a couple of them do that i know i definitely want to try so we're gonna go and do that and then when i come back i will update you on what's going on this week what you can expect what you're gonna see this week what i'm doing this week and all that jazz so yeah we're gonna go first and do the food because don't want to miss the food <laughs> they also did tell me at check-in that i have access to the executive lounge because i'm in a suite so i definitely want to check that out but again i'll probably do that on my way back up also there's a conference here so it's quite busy so you know i feel like like I'll let everyone go to their rooms and go do what they're doing and then I'll go and check out the lounge. Look what has just been delivered to my room before I headed out. This is the chocolate piece it says. Oh my goodness, this looks insane. Look at that. And then the fruit, this looks so good. Oh my goodness, is this a plum? This excites me so much. I honestly am blown away by how hospitable they're being. So I was saving myself, but it feels kind of rude not to try at least one chocolate. I just had a salted caramel one. But it, I think this is literally all chocolate. Like, this is mad. How do they do this? This is a literal work of art creation. Yeah, this is all chocolate. Mm. I think that looks fruity. Maybe we try this one. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, wow. That's insane. Mm. I feel like you're getting the behind view so you can kind of see how it's constructed. Oh, I keep knocking bits off. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so these are the tacos that I wanted to come and get, but they're looking a bit sad, aren't they? Which is a bit of a shame. And the consomme spilled out, but I'm sure they'll taste fine. You guys look at this. This is a pizza pocket and it's five pounds. And I don't know anywhere else in London where you can find like a five pound pizza, but it's so hot right now. I'm gonna let it cool for a moment and then we'll try. I feel like this is one of those ones that doesn't look like much, but you know, when you know a good pizza, oh my goodness, this is a great pizza. All right, this is what I'm trying next. It's a thousand layer potato and it's giving me all the Poppy Cooks vibes, but I actually made her ones at home and it took so long. So this is good. That's a winner. And back in the room, I actually walked back from Tottenham Court Road, which is such a nice walk, but I thought we'd go and check out the executive lounge and I believe they have like snacks and canapes on at this time. I mean, I've eaten a ton, but I didn't have like huge portions. So I'll definitely still want some dinner. But yeah, it was actually really nice. I feel like I just had like a buffet of Spitterfields. So funny. But anyway, I'm gonna grab my laptop and head down there, get some work done and just kind of chill, grab a coffee. It looks really cool. So I wanna go and you know, just experience it. So this is the spread in the executive lounge. They do like canapes throughout the day. And this is the afternoon spread. We've got some cheeses and there's some little hot dishes, mozzarella sticks. We have some spring rolls and all breaded prawns. And then over here we have some dates, some couscous. This is literally so up my street mozzarella and tomatoes and some hummus how good and then there's drinks fridges that you can just help yourself to there's the alcohol station and this is the coolest thing so this is a coffee machine i mean they have water on here as well but literally all of this i just tried it out and you can click like flat white and look there's even an oat milk option and it just all comes out of here including just like the water i mean i'll show you so good look so easy. I love that you don't have to ask anyone and you can just help yourself. Hi, look at my little workstation. So I, <laughs> it's been a few hours. I spent a while actually in the executive lounge just chilling and they're really talkative in there, the staff. The staff here is so nice actually, like incredibly nice. So I was just chatting to them for a little bit and then I did something a little crazy, which actually I can tell you because this vlog is going up on Sunday. I booked for my mom, my sister and I to go to Barcelona on Saturday for the day. And it was one of those things Things that I was like, is this a good idea? And then I asked them if they were down to do something crazy on Saturday. Normally they would have been like, no, what is it? We don't want to. And they both said yes. And I was like, well, it's the world telling me. So I booked the flights. And then you know when you just have a moment where you're like, I need to like calm myself down. So I went to the gym and I went on the treadmill and just walked. And I was like, I just need to like give myself a sec. I just had a bit of a moment where I was like, oh my gosh, this is insane. But I've had the best bath, the best best shower. My hair actually feels amazing. I used the Michael Van Clark Eureka Balm, I think it's called. It's like their hair dry balm serum product. I'll link it. It's really good. My hair feels amazing. But I think I'm literally going to hop into bed, put the movie on and chill. I actually didn't order any dinner. I wasn't hungry. I had snacks in the executive lounge. Then it was like dinner time and I was like, well, I'm not hungry. So my whole idea of being like sat in bed with the delivery watching a movie didn't really go to plan. But I've had a great day regardless. And there's always tomorrow. But I'm gonna head off to sleep. I'll catch up with you in the morning. Good morning. So I I've been to the gym, I've grabbed some breakfast and I'm about to hop on some calls this morning. I've got coffee from the executive lounge. You know what I'm realizing? It's so worth, when you're in like a city hotel like this, it's so worth getting one of the like executive or superior rooms if the price difference isn't too much because obviously you can get executive rooms that aren't sweets. But for what you get in that lounge, like this would have cost me £4.50 if I was to walk down the street and get it and it was free. So like, and I've got my breakfast and then they do lunch. Like you could literally eat every meal in there. If you're not a foodie and you're coming to a city just to explore the city then that is such an efficient way financially to do it if the like sometimes you can get a deal where it's only like 20 pounds more a day and in my opinion that is so worth it but i'm gonna hop on my calls and then we'll see what we're gonna do i do want to go to harrods good evening today did not go to plan at all i think i last spoke to you this morning and i was like yeah i think i want to go to harrods oh my goodness i have had a whole day none of it has been vloggable and it's now 9 p.m i'm back in my room and i decided we will do a little mukbang. I've always wanted to order from Anita Gelato. I've never done it because their, their delivery is a little weird. Like, I think you get a box. Yeah, this is, oh my gosh, look. There's going to be so much in here. So, there's little tubs. 
and uh, napkins. And then look, it comes like this. I think this is the Froyo. Oh my goodness, are these the toppings? It's like a gift bag. I love Anita Gelato. It's one of my favorite places in London to go for Froyo. And yeah, I've never got it on delivery because I've always been quite daunted by the idea of like how it comes. Love the look of that. Oh no, they sent me white chocolate. I, didn't, I don't like white chocolate. And then this is the, I definitely didn't order white chocolate. I know I would not have ordered white chocolate. No, I ordered milk chocolate. Man. And then look, this is how the Froyo comes. This is so fancy. Oh, this is amazing. How cool is that? So I'm gonna give myself a little pot Froyo. But yeah, I have had the longest day. Oh, what's it say? Thank you for your order, enjoy. That's so cute. But I thought I would finally get around to updating you and talking to you about what's going on in the next week of my life, which is kind of the whole reason I started this vlog. And then it just so happened that I was going to be in London. So I was like, oh, it can be a London vlog. And really all I've done is totally not vloggable stuff. So, you know, I, I mean, I know you don't mind. I know you're along for the ride and it is what it is, but yeah. Oh no, I should put some toppings in the bottom like they do at the store. Wait, mm. Amazing. So I got double strawberry, like Biscoff sauce, Nutella chocolate hazelnut sauce, and this is like this uh, cashew cream sauce. I also did order milk chocolate thingies, but we have white chocolate. Ooh. So here's the news. I move on Friday. I'm <laughs> I move a week tomorrow. I can't quite believe I'm saying that. I have a whole week of things lined up at the house. I have cleaners coming, I have Wi-Fi coming, and just all things like that this week. I'm gonna do another spoon. And then Friday is the big move day. The movers are booked, and I am honestly just losing my mind a little bit with excitement. I, as I said, I'm doing a week of vlogs and I'm going to start vlogging, well, Saturday, I guess, because I'm going to Barcelona. I have to vlog that. And then I'm going to vlog, well, I may as well vlog Sunday. Well, I'm literally just probably going to be vlogging from Saturday onwards. And then they're going to be going up the next day. So, I mean, maybe I'll put the Barcelona on my main channel and that'll be up in a bit. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I like everything to be in the right order, you know. But I have a ton of really fun giveaways planned for the vlogs, so make sure you tune in for those. And yeah, I just can't wait to document the journey. This is something that I've been waiting for for years and I cannot believe it's finally going to happen. I'm a little like, a little apprehensive because when you wait for these things for so long, they finally happen. I think there's that kind of that fear of, oh my goodness, is it going to be everything I hope it's going to be? I mean, my heart's telling me, yes, it absolutely is. And I'm sure it's going to be, you know, everything I hope is going to be wonderful. But I mean, there still could be bumps in the road from now until then, let's be honest. Mm, this sauce is unreal. So yeah, that is what my life is looking like for the next week. I need to pack everything at my mum's house. I need to make sure everything in my storage, storage unit is you know, like needs to come to the house and there's certain things in there I need to mark up that I don't want them to take because I don't want to take them with me. It's happening, finally. <gasps> oh no, let's taste test this. Mm. Divine. I mean, the whole thing still feels very surreal and like it's not actually happening because I've been waiting for so long, but <laughs> I'm like, okay. All right, I'll move on Friday. Oh my gosh, I have so much to do. I need to book my food delivery slot. That's important, I can't wait. So I'm trying to make sure that I am prepped and packed for the morning so I can go out and do some bits before I get my train home. Just wanna make sure there's nothing in any of the drawers. Oh my goodness, could you imagine if I left things? I think, okay, we're all good. Everything that's in the drawers is now back in the suitcase. It was definitely worth unpacking just for a day. I really like to feel like I belong somewhere when I am somewhere. I don't know if you remember when I had that place in Stratford for literally like a week. I think it was May last year. I took my coffee machine and everything. I made, I don't know. I like to feel like I'm really at home. I brought that huge suitcase with me because my carry-on isn't big enough and I don't have a medium size. So I had to use this, which is, it's not as big as my remote. It's a Samsonite one, but it's still quite big. And I said to my mum, I was like, I'm portable but I just have a lot of stuff. And it's like, if I, I don't know, I just, I travel a lot, I move around a lot, so I know the things I like. Like, it's really important to me to bring my blanket with me, just so when I go to bed at night, I feel like there's something familiar. And I could have bought the carry-on had I not taken the blanket, or my ball to do my, my bar with, or do you know what I mean? Little things like that, but actually, they're things that make my day-to-day -day really lovely, and 
I quite like to bring them. But I'm going to hop into bed and make a little plan for the morning. Also, how lovely are these flowers that they left for me the day I checked in? I keep looking at them and just thinking how beautiful they are. And there's one round here that looks like a heart. How stunning is that? I, every time I sat on the sofa, I just keep looking at the fact that it looks exactly like a heart. I don't know if that's the world telling me something, but I thought it was beautiful. It's also a full moon tomorrow, and I usually struggle to sleep on the nights of full moons. So we'll see, we'll see what what happens there? I'm daily vlogging over on TikTok at the moment. I've already started daily vlogging there. I was like, I need to like start one earlier to get me into the rhythm of daily vlogging. So not only am I daily vlogging on here for the move, I'm daily vlogging on TikTok as well. So it's a lot of editing, but it's fine. I just won't sleep very much this week. It's okay. It's all part of the fun. <laughs> but anyway, if you want to see if I sleep tomorrow night, then I will mention it in the TikTok vlog, but I will be vlogging obviously from Saturday onwards because of Barcelona. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It looks like the clouds are about to disappear and we're gonna have a really bright and blue sunny day. How beautiful is that? I really wish that I could stay to see it all. But first this morning, let's head down to the executive lounge and get some breakfast because I am hungry. So you have to rate my breakfast spread out of 10. It was so quiet in here, I literally couldn't speak. But I got some hummus, some cottage cheese, cucumber, croissant. I ended up putting my sausage in my croissant with some brie, some mustard and some ketchup, and it was incredible. So it's 8.35. I need to leave here in like an hour and 20 to make it home. So I thought we'd go for a wander, maybe through the park, I don't know. I'm working through like different bags, so I keep forgetting to move things from bag to bag. I need my lip balm, I literally cannot leave the house without my lip balm and yeah i thought we'd go for a walk through mayfair or even just through the park i love doing this particularly at this time of year it just feels that little bit more magical because it's autumnal this is my cute little outfit so i've got my anin bing jump jumper sweatshirt jumper on these are lululemon lines in navy they're actually new i've had them for a while but not worn them yet you know when you get something new and you're like no i'm saving it and today's the day uh i've got my burberry trench on just my little trainers because i'm going to be doing a lot of walking today and then the long champ is back out the lapillage. I didn't wear this for the longest time and now she's in high rotation again because I've decided why do I use tote bags when I have this? You know, it's just so much nicer. So yeah, a bit of a jumbled outfit today, but I'm just gonna go home and get changed and get ready because I have some things to do at home today. But for a morning walk, this is all I need. I've just walked up New Bond Street and I'm just heading towards Berkeley Square to head back to the hotel. But I've come to the conclusion that I think September is such a great time to come and visit London. Anything before then, it's just like you, you might get a day that's just too much, too warm. And I feel like when it's 30 degrees, as much as I love it as someone that lives here, it does ruin it if you're only here for like five days or something. And I just think like the mid to end of September where you start to get that autumnal feeling is such a magical time. So if you're thinking of coming to London or doing like a, a weekend break here or something, like that end of september like now come now come next week because it's still warm but it's not like hot you know what i mean oh look at that dress i'm doing some window shopping because nothing's open yet but i don't know if you can see because the reflection look at that oh my goodness it's an alice and olivia of course this is such a great street to browse on because you have so many gorgeous shops we have zimmerman up here look at this i walked past this window the other day and i was so shocked at how neutral everything was you know what Zimmerman's like, I was expecting like flouncy pastels, but no, I actually love this one on the right, I think that's gorgeous, actually I love both, so beautiful. Wow, that was the easiest pack up ever, I'm just doing an idiot check to make sure I've not left anything, but I think I just need to zip the case up. Wow, I really helped myself out last night by doing all that prep. Well, that was easy. This is why I always bring a bigger case than a smaller case. Obviously, as I said last night, so I can bring in the things that I, you know, care about and that make me happy day to day. But also, when it comes to packing up to leave, there's no, like, leaving with five extra bags because you can't fit things in anymore or because you ended up buying things. Not like I bought a single thing on this trip, but easy. Okay. I also have just been told that there's some parcels for me at home, so I'll unbox with you this afternoon. And I hope it's my new Sandro parcel. So, you guys, I'm home and we have the parcels. Now, it feels like there's more than there is because this is one and i know it's for a video so i can't show you that one i think this is also the same thing might be the same thing as well i mean these three look fun so we're gonna start with these and then the ones that i know that they are 
maybe I'll show you some of it inside, but I want to film some main channel videos, so I don't want to, you know, ruin it. Ooh, we're excited to share the new All of Me fragrance. I'm obviously not going to open it right now because I'm about to move and it's much safer to move it in the box. But when I'm in the house, I'll do a full perfume collection for you, which is something that I know so many of you have been asking for, but I've just not been able to do. Next up is an item that I actually ordered from Dish. I haven't ordered from Dish in a while, and I thought I was going to get hit with customs because it, there's always a chance that you will. And I didn't on this order. I think it's because I only ordered one thing. I found in the past, if you order multiple, you tend to get hit with customs fees. But then again, I could still get, you know, an email or a letter in the next few weeks. But I think they would have held it. Oh, look at this. I just thought this was perfect for this time of year. It's so heavy. But I love this. It's like a stone colour. They do it in a ton of different colours. And I love dresses that I can wear around the house that still feel put together. And, you know, join meetings in them. And I look like I'm, you know, nicely dressed, but they're comfortable. This one is so heavy. I think it must be some kind of like drink or something like that. But then it's not very protected, is it? I don't know. An excitement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know when you just think. Oh my god! <laughs> that is mum's idea of a dream. This is uh, Joy of Clean. I think this is Mrs. Hinch's collection. Yeah. All the best, Mrs. Hinch. Oh my goodness. How perfect for your house. I know. Oh, they're a little crushed. Do you like my dress? Yeah, I think that looks gorgeous. I'm really pleased with it. You look lovely. You guys, I've never been so excited to get a Febreze fabric refresher. <laughs> Does that mean you don't have to do washing? Oh, I don't use like scent boosters. I don't know, I, I've never tried them. Where do you put them? Add to oh, every wash the non-stop freshness. That's just shine. <gasps> Lenore Frosted Rose and Wonderland. Ooh, what does that smell like? Mmm. Mmm. Well, that's really different. Well, that's a, really But that's nice. a bit of us, isn't it? That's... It's not too sweet. No, it's We're fresh. very cottony and freshy, aren't we? That's family? fresh. That's really nice. Mm. Mm-hmm. We're big Febreze users, actually, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, I think especially when you have pets, it's just nice to have one of Absolutely. these. So I just made sure there's nothing kind of out that looks like we So I'm going to get them and give them a little info. I need to like, think about what I'm going to say. Oh, Very no! Nice. That's, That's a it's need Sunday. all day Sunday to recover. No! Yeah. I'm doing an early start, so we're not doing a crazy late finish. Oh, okay, because Dad said It's going like, to be like a bottom yeah. heavy day. Dad said early hours of Sunday. We no! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Come back tomorrow if you want to see the whole story of how I told them how they found out and the day in Barcelona. It will be up tomorrow at 4.30 p.m.